Lindsay Davenport, the number one ranking woman player in the world, is in Tokyo, and she has breezed into the championship match this week. Maria Sharapova, the 17-year-old Wimbledon champion, is playing brilliant tennis as well. They will clash for the title in Tokyo today. A full house in Tokyo for the 2005 Torre Pan Pacific Open. This is going to be some kind of a women's championship match as the two hottest players in the world on the women's side, Lindsay Davenport and Maria Sharapova, will go for the title. I'm Barry McKay along with Beth Hurth bringing you the action. And this is going to be, I think, one of the best matches of the year thus far, Beth. Absolutely. You've got the world number one in Lindsay Davenport going against number four, Maria Sharapova in one of the biggest tournaments of the year that's not a Grand Slam. It's a Tier 1, but an early, large tournament, early on the calendar, and it should be great. Look at the quarterfinals on. Kuznetsova, the U.S. Open champion, gave Davenport a bit of trouble in that second set, but uh, Davenport prevailed. And down below, as a goalie, the lady from Japan was very tough as well. A little closer look at Maria Sharapova. 17 years old, 6 feet tall, and Lindsay Davenport, living in Laguna Beach these days, born in Palos Verdes, California. She likes to stay at home, she says, Beth, but she doesn't get a chance to do that very often. Well, that's right. She's a tour veteran, been on the tour 12 years, and this is the beginning of her 13th year on the tour. A full house at the Tokyo Metropolitan Gymnasium in downtown Tokyo, Japan, ready for this championship match. I'm Barry McKay along with Beth Err, ready for the action. Sharapova on the far side, first game, first set. Just over the baseline, this a carpet surface. Beth, you've played in Tokyo a lot of times. How will this court play? Well, it's very fast and the ball tends to stay a little bit low, but Lindsay Davenport likes this surface. She's won this tournament four times out of the past seven years. So she, she enjoys it here. Just wide, two-hander from Sharapova. 15 all. How tough is it, Beth, to play the first game of any big match? Well, it's tough. You just want to get settled, kind of get your range, not go for too much maybe in the beginning. But these, luckily, they've played, you know, several matches on this court. Getting to the final here. Wow, Sharapova opens up with a big serve down the center. Just catches that service line. You like Sharapova's service action, Beth? Yeah, I do. I really like it. I think it's one of the keys to the match, actually. She has really improved her serve. Wow, that's a good forehand. She really has improved her serve in the last couple of years, along with her entire game, of course, because she hasn't been out there that long. But her serve is really a weapon. She's not quite as powerful as some of the other players, but she has amazing placement and a, and a lot of power, too. So the serve of Sharapova, very important here today. Second serve. Oh, yes. Sharapova just unloads on a forehand. Winner down the line. Can't call that a cautious shot. No, she really goes for everything. Even her second serve, she really hits it as as powerfully almost as her first serve sometimes. What else, Beth, do you think Sharapova has to do today to win? Well, I think she needs to um, return well. Lindsay's got a terrific serve as well. And Sharapova can try to neutralize that strength of Lindsay's. And she does try to do that a lot by just taking off on the first return and maybe moving Lindsay. Um, and I think her transition game is key. She wants to take some chances and look to come into the net a little bit behind some short balls. Get away from the pure baseline banging that Lindsay is so great at. Davenport opens up with a solid serve. Sharapova continues to go for shots early here. 15, love. Fall early. Lindsay's shaking that left leg just slightly. It's bandaged. 
And uh, I would assume that she's she certainly looks like she's moving all right. Just over the baseline. Well, both of these women coming off a tough start to the year at the Australian Open, a lot of long matches, and it certainly takes their to takes its toll on the players. Sharapova losing a heartbreaker to Serena oh. Williams in that semifinal with match points. That's right. Second serve now. Oh, yes. Lindsay threw in a big second serve, but Sharapova way too good on that forehand. Well, that's one of the amazing things about Sharapova. She, for a gal who is six feet tall, covers the court so well. And she has a wide wingspan as well. So with her footwork and her wingspan, she really gets a lot of balls back. Oh. Davenport right back with a solid two-hander. seen some great shot making from Sharapova early in this match. One game ball. Well, these like. guys have only played one time and that was last year at Wimbledon when uh, Sharapova beat Lindsay. Lindsay was up a set and 3-1 in the mm. second and Sharapova ended up coming back to win. So Lindsay will want to avenge that loss today. Ooh. Oh, yes. You don't see a much better point than that, Beth. That is quality tennis from both players. Absolutely. Well, these guys both have amazing ground strokes. And the that's one of Lindsay's favorite shots. She's just so clean on that backhand on the line. And you saw the agility there from Sharapova. She stopped on a dime, was able to change directions. She's a great athlete. She is. Good. Just catches the tape. No empty seats in this big gymnasium here in downtown Tokyo today. They have poured into this place all week long, and I'm sure the local promoters are delighted to have these two in the finals. Absolutely. Can't get a better matchup for your finals than this match. Just why? You see that? Service linesman behind Davenport getting that angle in. Second serve. Mm. No. Wow, Lindsay continuing to drill the backhand of Sharapova. Uh, she tried to wrong foot her there again, but Sharapova was very agile and ended up drawing the error from Lindsay. Sharapova now taking a little extra time after that last tough point. That's wide. She's very, very deliberate on each of her serves. She kind of goes through her routine, fully concentrating. No, it's over the baseline on the return. Game point, Sharapova up 40-15. Wow. Sharapova knocks off the forehand one more time. A clean winner up the line. The Torre Pan Pacific Open from Tokyo on the Tennis Channel. Stay with us.
Two games to one now. Sharapova up in the first set. This is best of three for the title. Report a little Lovely. slow on the backswing. She continues to kind of shake that leg a little bit. I just wonder, Beth, if it's bothering her. Yeah, I'm not sure. We've seen it wrapped before in other tournaments. Yeah, she does that quite a bit. I know she was working very hard with her trainer on the off season, uh, really working on her fitness and her movement, and that will be key today. Solid forehand from Davenport, a short ball, but was set up by that two-hander very deep. Beth, you're so right. She, she, she <laughs> Apollo, moves so well for a six-foot female. I mean, she can change directions. It's unbelievable. Yeah. And Lindsay's got such power. She's six feet, two and a half. But that may be the difference today. Sharapova may get around the court a little bit better. We'll have to see. That import opened up with another ace. Now a second serve. 30-15. You see how Sharapova is really trying to punish that second serve. And she hits the nice angle. Thank you. Saw Lindsay use a one-hander there when she got stretched out. That's right. Just long. And now an early opportunity here for Sharapova. Break point. Sorry. Doesn't like the toss. She'll start again. A lot of people out there maybe watching think when they throw that ball up, they got to go for it, Beth. <laughs> and, uh, no, you, you never want to hit a bad toss. That's right. <laughs> and the Sharapova return too tough. And so Maria Sharapova breaks now early in this first set. Up 3-1. That should give her a little confidence, certainly, early in this match to have a break that early. Absolutely. Well, her return game is so big. She really can move her opponent right off the bat. No, it's long. I think Sharapova, you mentioned, Beth, that she's kind of very deliberate between points. Has that come over the last maybe 12 months in her development? I think so. I, I think just the more she's played at such a high level, she, she's been very clear that she wants to be number one in the world. She's very focused. And uh, I don't think she wants anything to distract her along the way. She's 17 years old, but this is her goal, and nothing else is, is out there. Deep second serve from Sharapova. Lindsay had moved in. Looked like she was even going to try and come in behind that ball, but. Right, it can skid a little bit on this surface. Doesn't bounce up very high, so we've got to stay down. Sure, pull it very close with that left foot to the baseline. No foot faults called thus far. We will see. Ooh, and a big second serve. Took a big chance, Beth, on that second serve. Absolutely. Really goes for the lines. you're hearing from Sharapova. They haven't let Monica Sellis into the building, but it sure sounds like it, doesn't it? Well, it is very reminiscent of Sellis, and yeah. she plays similarly, too. She just wants to go for it on every ball. 40-15 now. Chance for Sharapova to go up 
Lindsay looked like she changed her mind. Misses the forehand up the line, and now Maria Sharapova at four games to one in this championship match from Tokyo, the Torre Pan Pacific Open. On the Tennis Channel, stay with us. Sharapova up 4-1. A look at the WT Tour top 10 updated standings. A lot of points over there. Yeah, that's right. If Maria wins this match, she will surpass Amelie Moresmo of France, move into the number three position in the world rankings. Currently, she's at number four. And if we look at those points, about that, is that a year long standing? That's right. It's the last 52 weeks. It's kind of a rolling ranking. And so, what happened last year at this time will fall off, and the new weekly results will fall in. Wow, Lindsay rushes that two-hander slightly, a short ball. Tough to hit a two-hander on a short ball, don't you think, Beth? It is. It's nice when you have the slice <laughs> and you can chip and come in, but a lot of the gals with the two-handers, they take top spin and come on in as a approach shot like that. A lot of unforced errors early for the number one seed. Just catches the tape. Sharapova with a tremendous win last July. Back at the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club. Nobody expected her to be the Wimbledon champion, that's for sure. That's for sure. She's ranked 15 in the world when that happened. Seated 13 at Wimbledon. And I think that was pretty much of a long shot. You could have gotten good odds on her. Ladbrokes would have uh, been a good place to be here before the tournament last year. That's right. Game point Davenport now, trying to get to 4-2 here. She's down a break. No. Well, to me, early, it looks like Lindsay slightly uh, tentative right now. A little bit tentative. She's just missing a couple. She's not moving quite as well as Maria is. To settle in a little bit more and make her shots. Oh, another error from the four, and now Maria Sharapova with a chance to go up 5-1 here in Tokyo. Look at that reach on the forehand. Boy, did she move. She just rifled that forehand back. I think Lindsay wasn't expecting it to come back quite so quickly. Oh, very close call on the sideline. I thought for a moment she had that shot. You know, Barry, this surface isn't that different than Wimbledon where they had their previous match. It's such a low bounce and fast surface that it's slightly similar where that ball looks a little close, but it's wide there. That's a great point. Maria certainly loves that low bounce of the center court over there in England. Oh, yes. She just uncorks a two-hand winner. Her return is just such a key part of her game. Just sets it up, drives it down the line, comes back so quickly, Lindsay isn't even able to run for it. Gets a lot of weight into that shot, doesn't she, Beth? Yes. Second serve now. Another chance for Sharapova right here to go up 5-1. And there it is. Sharapova breaks serve once again. And the Wimbledon champion now at five games to one. This crowd kind of shocked, I think, thus far. It's an amazing score early. Two service breaks. Especially after they've seen Lindsay Davenport win this tournament. Exactly. Four previous occasions. Japanese spectators, very knowledgeable and ever so polite. Beth, you, you played in Tokyo quite a few times. What's the atmosphere like? Oh, it's, it's very polite, and I think it's interesting. Right before the umpire, or right after the umpire says, you know, Sharapova to serve, play, they usually give a nice little <laughs> applause. It's very cute. Polite applause. Yes. <laughs> Sharapova 
serving terrifically. Wow, 157 kilometers, I believe. If it's miles per hour, Roddick better look out. That's right. <laughs> Oh, yes, what a gift. Lindsay hit a fine return. Sharapova knocks off the two-hander. And she pulled Lindsay out of the court, and Lindsay just doesn't get back in time. Again, it's such a quick surface. No, that's long. So one set point disappears. Still 40-15, a chance for... Sharapova to win this first set. <laughs> Great return off a wonderful serve out wide. Sharapova continues to slice that first one out wide. I think that's a good play. It is a good play, but Lindsay had a good return again. It didn't come up much. It's hard to direct that ball down the line over the high part of the net there when it's down so low. Still set point. And Sharapova wins the first set. 6-1, two service breaks. The Torre Pan Pacific Open from Tokyo on the Tennis Channel. Sharapova, 6-1. Well, after that first set, Lindsay Davenport quickly left the court. A little injury timeout, and now she gets a huge hand as she reappears for the start of the second set. And Beth, what does that do to Sharapova, who patiently waits around? Well, first of all, she just tries to stay loose and warm and try not to let it affect her momentum. After all, she did win that first set 6-1. Things are definitely swinging her way. A look at our first set statistics. Well, you can see it was really about the unforced errors. Davenport just with too many with 16 there, and Sharp Sharpova only six. And the winners went the other way. Sharpova with nine and Davenport with three. That was pretty much the difference. Sharpova serving a little better as well. Three aces to Davenport's one. First game, second set now. We'll see if Lindsay Davenport can ah. somehow pull it together. She's going to have to get off to a pretty good start here in this second set to get back in this match. That's right. Yes. Well, that's more like it. Stepping in inside the baseline. Giving herself a little room over the net there. She was netting a lot of balls that first set. Sets up a nice topspin forehand. Mm, just wide, Sharapova continuing to go for winners off that return. Davenport now quickly to 40 love. She'd love to hold, get off to a one love lead here. And a big serve from Davenport, and she plays one of her best games. Beth and both of these ladies, interesting story about uh, their coaching background. Well, that's right. Um, Sharapova's current coach is Robert Lansdorp. And as you know, Lansdorp has coached many great former players, um, including Tracy Austin, Pete Sampras. Um, and now he is the coach of Maria Sharapova. And Lindsay Davenport used to have Robert as her coach. And for the past few years, she's been coached by Adam Peterson. So sometimes that's interesting. I mean, it can kind of maybe get in your mind a little bit if your former coach is with your sure. opponent. I yeah. you think maybe they'll give him some tips. But she's the number one player in the world, Lindsay, and uh, I, I think she'll, she won't be thinking about that kind of thing. You don't think Robert uh, gets with uh, Maria and says, now listen, I remember when Davenport was having trouble moving to her left. So always hit the ball to that two-hander. Well, he may say that, but she doesn't have any huge glaring weaknesses. That's the problem. I mean, she's number one in the world. So. Well, if Robert Lansdorf is watching on the tennis channel, or who knows, he may be over in Tokyo. We will, we will see. Sharapova certainly making great strides these days. That's right. Yeah.
Yes, Davenport. And Maria also has uh, Michael Joyce now as her traveling coach. And that has worked out well because Michael, who is a former player as well, um, was a protege of, of Roberts as well. So right. that has worked well for them. Since last year in Zurich, I think October 2004, they started traveling together. Michael Joyce, one of the fine <laughs> tour players. Oh, and Davenport now starting to really drill some winners. She really sets up well here, puts all her weight into it, just brushes up through the ball for an unbelievable angle. Winner from behind the baseline. Beautifully stroked there. Love 30 now, a chance early for Davenport here in the second set. That will go long. And now Lindsay Davenport with triple break point. a fault. That's a let. They are using the live net court judge. You can see to the right of your picture there. I'm glad to see the live net court judge back. I hate that electronic <laughs> stuff. Much more fun to have the live body out there. Yes. This time, again, Maria knocking the ball back before Lindsay really even gets back yep. to the center of the court. She's very effective on this fast, fast surface. The wrap still on the left leg of Davenport. It's wide, second serve opportunity now for Lindsay. No, a let and a double fall. And so Davenport with an early break to love. And that's just what she'll have wanted to do to get back into this match after not a great showing that first set. She has started very well, knocking off the two-hander. Just wide. As we mentioned, she's won this tournament four times out of the last seven years. When you play at a certain place, you, s you somehow have like a vibe when you go there. And if you have a lot of confidence from playing there in prior years, it just sort of comes out again. So she's not going to want to give up this match easily. she want to dig down. That's good. Yes. She's really finding her range now. <laughs> wow. That is a temporary stand you see right there. There's that kind super, of half volley. Yeah, super length from Davenport mm. on the second to last shot there really set that up. Quick hands from Sharapova though. 30 love. Let and a fault. On the men's side, Beth, the guy who half volleys so well from the baseline, Andre Agassi, because he crowds it so well. And to watch her do the same thing is impressive. It is impressive. And she has big, long strokes, too, so she really has to shorten those up a bit when the ball's so deep. She's got such impeccable timing, as does Agassi. That's the amazing thing about her win at Wimbledon, like you say, to shorten your strokes on that grass court over there. That's going to go long. Davenport at game point, and Lindsay Davenport opens up with ace number two, 164 kilometers, and a very impressive start for Lindsay Davenport here at the Torre Pan Pacific Open. We're on the Tennis Channel bringing you championship women's tennis. Due to time constraints, we move ahead to action later in the second set. Well, Beth, these two played a brilliant match last year in the semis of Wimbledon. Well, that's right, and Maria Sharapova was down 
a set and 3-1 before coming back to win that match. And then, of course, going on to take the title at Wimbledon. I'm sure Lindsay uh, would not like to think back about that match, having a big lead and letting it slip away. Yeah, that could have been a heartbreaker. Big hand for both players as they cross over. Lindsay Davenport has somehow clawed her way back into this match, leading 4-1 now in the second set. It's best of three for the title. Sharapova serving. The 4-1 score, a little deceptive, huh, Beth? Only one service break. Yes, that's true. It's also surprising to see Lindsay even in the lead with the way she's moving. I mean, she's hitting the ball beautifully, but looking a little hampered by that leg injury. Sharapova showing some real emotion for the first time when she misses that two-hander. Not happy at all. She speaks English very well. I'm wondering if she talks to herself in Russian or English. <laughs> well, that's true. She's been in the States since she was seven years old, came over from Russia with her father, Yuri. Had to leave mom behind for a couple years. She finally joined them a couple years later. Oh, Lindsay going for it all okay. down the line. Catches the tape, 15 all. Spent a lot of that time training at the Boletary Tennis Academy and still considers Nick one of her career advisors. She faces herself out of Bradenton, Florida. Nick Boletary, what a piece of work. <laughs> he, he, he never is at a loss for uh, words, I can tell you that much. Uh, he's a great guy to work with. I love seeing him every year at the U.S. Open. <laughs> Over the baseline, 30-15 now for Sharapova. Trying to hold here and stay in this second set. And when she came over, she was so young. I was talking to her agent, and I said, you know, how did she, how did she go to school, or did she even go to school? What was the deal? And her mother actually homeschooled her. Mm and um, still teaches her a lot, teaches her in Russian, but she now is taking classes on the internet through Keystone National High School. And her agent says she plans to do college classes as well. Wow. So she's just a junior in high school. It's hard to believe that, <laughs> all she's experienced. Sharapova holds. Now a crucial game for both players. Davenport serving up 4-2 with a break, wants to hold and get to 5-2. Sharapova would love to break right here get back in this second set got to ask you Beth I love to ask my analysts the seventh game of any set what do you think always a big game from the time I was a youngster all my coaches always told me seventh and the ninth game are the biggest games in the set so really crucial I am glad to hear you say that <laughs> I once asked the great Stan Smith that same question he said are you nuts bear they're all important games <laughs> deep serve from Davenport now Lindsay up 30 love, trying to hold here. Oh is using that outside yeah. serve yeah. to slide it out on this carpet. It's worked well for both of them. Look how far out of court Sharapova is. Even if she makes the return, Lindsay's got a wide open court. It's true. And Davenport, a very quick game, four quick points. She holds serve, she now leads 5-2. When we return, Sharapova serves to stay in the second set. Five games to two now. Lindsay Davenport up in the second set from the Torrey Pan Pacific Open in Tokyo. And Maria Sharapova steps up to serve and try and stay in this second set. A winner. Beth, I know you've been in touch with the Sharapova troops. How popular is she? She's super popular. I mean, 
since she won Wimbledon, she's been requested to do over 300 photo shoots. She's only done one. That just wow. shows her focus. She really doesn't want anything to distract her from her goal of being number one in the game. And um, the one she has done, she's done in her off season, not at a tournament or anything like that. She, she did Vogue actually in December, and it will be out on the stands in March. And um, I've heard that when she does her, you know, different endorsements, she does not allow them to take up too much of her time. She won't ever do anything at a big tournament. She's very specific about they want limited time. She wants to keep her eye on the ball and her goal. And I think that actually probably attracts a lot of the companies, too, because they know how resolute she is in her determination yeah. to be number one in tennis. Maybe that's the big difference between Kornikova and Sharapova. Well, I think maybe she's learned some lessons from the people that have gone before her. Sharapova serving. Big game here, trying to stay in this second set. Oh! It's a fault. Didn't like the toss, she'll start again. <laughs> Oh, yes. Catches Lindsay moving to her right. What do you decide, Beth, after this point? Oh. That's why. Where to go with that shot? It looked to me like she hesitated just for a moment and waited to see which way Lindsay was going to go. Yeah, she may have taken her eye off the ball to kind of pop up and see where, Wins where Lindsay was headed. Anyway, now she's down set point. Oh! It's a fault now. Big pressure on Sharapova. Second serve. Set point. Oh, yes. Kind of giving Lindsay some of her own medicine there. They both do well with that backhand down the line. Both have such big groundies. When they can step a foot or so inside the baseline, it's almost a winner. Yeah. Sharapova changes it up, goes out wide. Maria Sharapova with a chance to hold and get to 5-3. She'd like to hold this game and make Lindsay try to serve out this set. And she does. And Sharapova holds. Five games to three. Davenport steps up to try and serve out the second set. I love that motion. Boy, she gets up real high. A lot of weight into the shot. A little fist pump there. Yeah. That is a big serve, too. Yeah. 15, love. Oh, that's just about as perfect as you can get down the center. Davenport catching up on the ace category. Oh! wide. Oh. It's just a huge return. Takes the ball inside the baseline. That's the kind of shot you were talking about, Beth, that uh, she actually kind of shortens her swing slightly on that return. Yeah. It's not like Lindsay has a weak second serve or anything, but Maria really makes her pay when she hits one. Kind of edges up here a little bit for the second serve. Let's see if she scoots in on it. Oh, it's just too good. It's 
So you're pulling her out wide here off the court and opening up for the second shot. She was lucky to get to that shot, actually. Right. Somehow get the ball in play, but... Yeah. Davenport now at set point. Her serve firing up. Not too happy with that one. <laughs> it's a fault. Oh, that is a oh. big forehand. Again, that just shows the agility of someone. Maria, she's so fast for someone who's six feet tall, gets over there, totally balanced when she hits it, ready to come back into the point. Well, she takes big strides, too. I mean, one or two strides, she's moved about six or seven feet. That's true. Davenport with the ace deep, and Lindsay Davenport, the 1998 U.S. Open champion, has come roaring back to win the second set at the Torre Pan Pacific Open. When we return, they'll play one set for the title. Well, you can see Davenport really turned it around this set with 15 winners and just three unforced errors. Picked up her serve as well with four aces and Sharapova. A little bit higher in the unforced error column than she was the prior set. Japanese fans having some fun. It's a lot of emotion for the Japanese crowd. As you <laughs> mentioned, Beth, they are so polite. I played in Japan years ago, and uh, I'll never forget how quiet it was and uh, a lot of respect for very that. respectful yeah but they really love tennis I tennis became, and golf <laughs> yeah i became a pretty good bower you, you learn how to bow in a hurry sharapova starts fast big game here first game final set sharapova would love to hold she's checking her strings there Catches the tape. It's a nice first serve. Yeah, deep, good right, pace. Right 30. into the body. <laughs> yeah. Just over the baseline, very close call. Wow, very close. Lines person behind Lindsay, way out wide there, trying to get a look in from the side. Will go wide, and so Sharapova holds in the first game of the final set. Lindsay didn't take much time on that chain changeover right there. Of course, there is no change. You like that new rule, Beth? Uh, you know, no no sit down after the first game. Yeah, I think it's okay. I do too. I mean, I always wondered. I mean, one game of tennis, how how tired can you be? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I played, there weren't even chairs on the changeover. <laughs> we just sort of leaned up against the umpire stand. 
Now I'm really giving away some <laughs> bad facts. <laughs> Davenport out wide. Well, this has got to be more comfortable than the heat that they played in down in Australia the last couple weeks. Yeah, total contrast. wide some very quick points this match has gone very quickly i mean we haven't seen a lot of long rallies but i think why is that the surface beth absolutely this surface is so fast there's just i mean if somebody gets a short ball it's just a put away or even if it's not short it's just if you get an angle it just slides right out there so the person's off the court the next ball's a winner looks like that slice serve out wide really works on this surface absolutely both utilizing that a lot 40 love oh! Ooh. This perfect, perfect setup. Little brush there at the end yeah. for the top spin. This textbook forehand. Lindsay still looks like she's moving a little gingerly yeah. to me. I think that left leg's still bothering her. The other yeah. slice serve again out wide, and Davenport holds. Yeah. Nobody has gone home from this vast gymnasium in downtown Tokyo as Maria Sharapova walks over with a 2-1 lead. Sharapova did some good work on the tsunami uh, fundraising, I understand. Yeah, that's right. She actually flew to Thailand two days after the tsunami for a scheduled exhibition she had there with Venus Williams and was one of the first people to donate money to help the victims, oh. so she was proud of that. She got to meet the prime minister of Thailand, so she had an interesting trip over there. Service ace for Davenport to go up 15 wow. love. Oh. No. Davenport now opening up on that second serve. Both players, Beth, taking a lot of chances right. on the second serve. Absolutely. Here she tries to create this angle out of nowhere. She's right in the middle of the court. It's tough to do. Sort of Lindsay's oh. one-two punch right now. The wide serve and then tossing it back the other way to the yeah. backhand. It's just so fast. You really have to hustle. <laughs> Tries the one-hander. <laughs> That's a great idea. Talk about a tight match. Look at that. Total points. Dead even. Oh. No. Let and a fault. Well, for those of you out there watching on the Tennis Channel who watched some of the Vina Del Mar men's action yesterday, talk about a total contrast. The slow red clay of South America and now the fast indoor carpet of Tokyo. Kind of have to use different strategies on those two yeah. venues, right? Two one, Sharapova final set. Davenport trying to get to two all. Oh! There's another brilliant return, well inside the baseline. See a little bit more emotion from Maria than you do out of Lindsay. She, she yeah. gives the fist pumps and the little come ons. It just seems to me like she just wants it more. And it may be that Lindsay's just not feeling great because of her leg and doesn't want to expend the extra energy. Oh! But in the third set, you need to want it badly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and another winner off that forehand from Sharapova. And now a big opportunity. 
for the 17 year old from Russia. Mm, that's a good return. So she takes a whack at the second serve here. Yeah. Gets jammed. Oh, and a very smart second serve from Davenport. That's right, right into the body with mm. Maria's long arms. She almost does better when the ball's away from her. Yeah. But uh, he ended up taking advantage of that short ball. He's just lacing the lines there. It's a good effort by Maria to track a couple of those down. But They talk about using all the court, Beth. Both players did on that point. It's tough to stay in the point when you're six, seven feet behind the baseline there on those fast surfaces. Mm. Davenport rips an ace. Sharapova thought it was a fault, but there'll be no overrule. And so Lindsay Davenport very crucial game. Two games all now. Final set. Oh, that's such a deceptive serve. She had Sharapova moving to the right. Fifth game. Final set. You know, we were talking earlier about... Um, Maria's donation for the tsunami victims. She's also very proud of the fact that she's donated. Oh, she just was donated back to the victims of that Beslan tragedy back in her home, mm. Russia, where so many school children were killed in that hostage crisis. She donated the value of the Porsche Cayenne she won the year in championships, fifty-six thousand dollars back to that to the families of those victims. So, a good kid. Very nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's long. Thirty love. You see there how her body gets inside that baseline on the follow through. That's what makes her serve so effective. Oh. And another what could be a quick game, Beth. Forty love. Sometimes those, sometimes those are the toughest games to to win, too. After you've had a tough game, you've had your chances. Often when you come back, that's often when people get broken. So it's good to see her come back strong in this game after that last tough game which she lost. That is amazing. Sharapova throws in one of her best second serves, and Lindsay just casually knocks off the return. It's just effortless. You so get, concise. You also get the feeling, as you've mentioned, Beth, that Lindsay does not want to move that much. So she's going to go for bigger shots on the return. Absolutely. That's why Sharapova holds. We're getting down to the crucial stage of this match as the young Russian now. A Wimbledon champion up 3-2. Torre Pan Pacific Open from Tokyo. Three games to two now. Final set. Sharapova leading, but Lindsay Davenport continuing to serve very well. Needing to get some easy points like that one off of her serve. It's really kept her in this match. Talk about depth, that ball right on the baseline. Davenport again, quickly to 30 love. Talked about it often, but that slice serve continues to be a weapon. Absolutely. 
Every time I see that slice, I think of the great match between Arthur Ashe and Jimmy Connors, Wimbledon, 1975, Beth, and Ashe used that serve so effectively, really just surprised Connors and went on to win the title that year. Slice out wide. Oh, no call. In fact, called a second serve ace. Davenport again, a very quick game. Right on the sideline. See the quick call from that lines person back there. Three games all. We have arrived at the famous seventh <laughs> game once again. <laughs> wow. Slice wide. I would say of all the aces in this match, about 80% have been wide to the forehand right. side. Well, also when they hit it down the, down the center, um, both of the gals have the capacity to kind of make that angle um, hitting from the center to either sideline, and that's not the case when you're out wide. Sharapova. Big serve down the center. Obviously, the serve's playing a huge, huge port, an important point in this mm. match. Oh. Nope, wide again. Not having the huge rallies you saw yesterday, right? <laughs> well, you know, this feels like a Wimbledon match. It really does. Very few rallies. Ball stays low. That's a let. that serve down the center where yeah. you can create the angle and run your, your opponent instead of you yourself being run off the court. <laughs> and another service ace for Sharapova, three in that one game. Sharapova now up 4-3, final set. A big hand for both players as they cross over here late in this third set. Nobody has left this vast gymnasium, as it is called, in downtown Tokyo. Now Lindsay Davenport steps up to serve. Down 3-4. What else is new? Another ace down the center. Boy, you, you mentioned it, Beth. Both players serving just so well, especially in this crucial third set. Absolutely. This is just come. <laughs> All it is is the big serve and the big first return. Whoever gets a shot first seems to be winning the point. Second serve. Wow. Right on the on the center service line. How, how great a condition are both these players in at this point, Beth, early in the year? Well, I think except for um, Lindsay's, you know, potential injury she's facing with her leg, I think both of the gals have worked really hard on their fitness on their off season, made it a priority. I know that um, in Shark Clovis camp, they had been nervous about pushing her too hard while she was still growing. Um, she's only 17 years old, but now they feel like maybe they can go ahead and really, really up the ante on the fitness. And I know Lindsay has been training really hard in the off season, and I think both players felt that their fitness held up well in Australia. Sharapova nice in quick on the drop shot. And the points just haven't been really long enough to feel like it's it's a fitness test out here. It's more of a test of wills. Not an easy shot, that two-hander low from that position. No. She handled it well. She did. And Davenport, another very solid game on her own serve. Four games all.
final set. Could we be looking at a tie break? With the way they're serving, looks yeah. like it may be going in that direction. Exactly. No breaks so far this set. Yeah, the game's going so fast. Shot. Tremendous angle on the run from Lindsay. I think that's one of her best shots. We'll have another look here. Watch Davenport on the full run. Just lifts that racket up. And it stays so low. You really have to get that ball up over the net, especially when you're that far out of the court. Close call, Lindsay will have another look. Wow, she thought she had it. <laughs> it's kind of the first time we've seen her smile. I don't think it was a happy smile. It hasn't shown much emotion at no. all. But that would have been a cause for celebration. She would have been up love 30 at this <laughs> crucial for all game. Oh, yes. Sharapova pulls the angle wide. Really using the whole court there. That ball bounced inside the service line to create that angle. Quick feet setting up for the shot and just whips it cross court. Big follow through too, Beth. Big high follow through. And a smart play. Waits for Lindsay to make her move. That's where I think Maria is very effective when she takes these quick little steps and moves inside the baseline. Sort of her transitional game is very good. So true. She's got the long legs, but the quick little steps makes it happen. Let first serve. She didn't hear it. First time we've seen the umpire be questioned at all. The officiating has been very solid. And Sharapova again from behind. And so Sharapova up 5-4 when we return. Lindsay Davenport serves to stay alive in this championship match. Five games to four now. 2004 Wimbledon champion Maria Sharapova trying to close this match out, but Lindsay Davenport has other ideas as she steps up to serve. Down 4-5, and we have seen some brilliant serving over the last four or five games, Beth. They've really been bombing that ball. Ooh, and the minute I say it, I'm, I'm like the, <laughs> the kiss of death <laughs> as Lindsay dishes up a double fault. Love 15, Sharapova three points away. Comes back with a terrific serve down the middle. If Lindsay continues to serve like that, Sharapova's going to have to almost kind of guess and, and just take a chance on the return. Out wide again, it works. Get a little tight, 30 all. Well, Sharapova did well to move over to that good serve down the middle. Got it back quickly to Lindsay. <laughs> wow. Right on the sideline, it kind of spun off. 
Look how far out Sharapova has to go just to get the racket on the ball. Lindsay Davenport, after a bit of trouble, hold serve. We are at five games all, final set. Decided to go back oh. and retreat back to the baseline after that short ball. She ends up coming up with a clean winner on the backhand. She needs it. She played some good defense there, running mm. down a few balls. And then first time she had a chance to step in inside that baseline, clean winner. She right. Defense was the key right there. She scrambled to her left. <laughs> and finally, Davenport wins a, a point from the backcourt. She'd love to have that point back. A sitter short ball. I think it just didn't come up. No. You mentioned it before, Beth. This court really stays low. The ball stays so low. Very tough. Another beautiful angle here. 30 all. <laughs> Not happy with that call. Big pressure now. Second serve. <laughs> oh, and Lindsay missing with the two-hander. She hasn't missed that return often. No, she has not. <laughs> moved in for this kill on that second she serve. She was really yeah. about to take a big swing at that, you could tell. That's a mm. not a great time for a double, but again, when you have such a good return, you can put the pressure on your opponent and draw a double fault sometimes when it's tight. <laughs> Certainly not taking off anything of the first serve no. to try to get that in. Just going for it.
Game point, Sharapova to go up 6-5. And she does. And Maria Sharapova holds serve, six games to five. When we return, the biggest game of the match coming up. Davenport serves to get into a tiebreak. Championship match, Torrey Pan Pacific Open from Tokyo, Japan. And now Lindsay Davenport serving the biggest game of this match thus far, trying to get into a tiebreak. And the slice works once again. Just catches mm. that carpet and takes off. He's utilized that so many times. No. Gary, we were talking about their different styles. I mean, their playing style is so similar in their huge ground strokes. But Maria is so much more intensive with the mm. fist pumping and the just intent look upon her face. Whereas Lindsay, you know, she's been doing this for so long. She just seems like she has ice in her veins. Yeah, it is true. <laughs> oh, and a rare error off that two-hander. Really missed that ball badly. He's caught it really late. Yeah. There's exactly what you're talking about, Beth. You can tell exactly whether she wins or loses yeah. the point. <laughs> Just inside that sideline. Game point. Lindsay Davenport holds serve. We have arrived at a tiebreak for this championship. An amazing bet. They'll play one tiebreak for the title. And the fans are going to love this. Well, if they continue to play like they have the last four or five games, this could be one break. I mean, I, I only see one break because they're holding serve so easily. True. This is when the serve. nerves come into play. Yeah. It's wide. Beth, do you do you play a tiebreak in this situation maybe slightly differently than, than you've been playing the regular match? I don't think so. I think both of these gals are gonna stick with their game plan. I mean they're gonna just keep going for it. They just, you know, are gonna hope that they are able to execute this key point in the match. Oh! Second serve. Big second serve. Oh, oh yes. Beauty. Looked like she was going to go cross court and then eased it up the line. And there's your mini break, Barry. Yeah, exactly. 2-0, Sharapova. Their second serve. Deep second serve, Sharapova goes for it. And Davenport gets on the board. First player to reach seven. The two point advantage will win this championship. Oops. No. I'm back on serve now.
Poe. She was actually backing up as she hit that ball. It's just a beautiful serve. Great, Great. hit into the open court there. Great strength, too, from behind the baseline. 3 2. Sharapova. Second serve. And that is a brilliant return. She really just has one speed. I mean, she goes for it at all times. And it really has paid off for her. Quick grip change there as that ball approached. You could see her move those hands so quickly. Now Sharapova has the break once again. They'll change sides after six points. Sharapova up 4-2. goes over she wins the point Sharapova did great oh. to neutralize that good serve that Lindsay hit and got her into the baseline rally now two breaks for Sharapova in this tie break that was a big point for her it's good that will go long now Maria Sharapova has arrived at championship point. No. Davenport does not go away. Fine return. Still, match point. Service ace, Davenport right in the corner. Oh, I think it, it was called a fault. Wow. Ow. Just wide. Oh. oh. Another serve to come by Lindsay right here. She goes wide. And once again, Davenport relies on that spin serve out wide. Fantastic comeback. Talk about drama, Beth. It doesn't get much tighter than this. Title at stake. Let no fault. Tremendous match from both players. Wow, it doesn't get much better than that. Maria Sharapova, a big hand from this very polite Japanese crowd. Maria Sharapova, the Wimbledon champion, wins in Tokyo. A great effort, Beth. She really played some competitive tennis. She played well when she needed to and poor Lindsay Davenport really looked like she was hampered by her um, leg injury. Yeah. But uh, all the credit goes to Maria. She did she did well. So Sharapova wins it in three six one three six and seven six. Stay with us on the tennis channel. We'll be back 
with a presentation of the awards right after this. Presentations get ready to start. We have a look at the stats, and boy, are they telling, Beth. Absolutely. Well, you can see both gals came up with a lot of winners. It was a slam bang kind of match. But Davenport with a few more unforced errors, and that may have been the difference. And Sharapova with nine aces, but Lindsay really started serving at the end of that match very solidly. And 40 winners from Sharapova. That's certainly a very important number. Well, now ready for the presentations as the Japanese folks really know how to do this part of the business, the presentation of the trophies and the prize money. Nobody's gone home. They love this in Tokyo. Lindsay, who has won this title four times, Beth, obviously very popular here in Tokyo. Well, she's such a gracious person, and a gracious winner and loser, and I'm sure we'll hear her speak here. But uh, she's popular everywhere. Mr. Noji to the left, one of the big organizers of this event, and a very popular man, certainly with the players. Lindsay sort of bending down, <laughs> <laughs> doing a little bit of a bow there. Beautiful trophy. And a huge hand for the American veteran. Wish my Japanese were better, Beth. I could do a little <laughs> interpreting, but I'm not even going to attempt that. <laughs> and the prize money. Well, she's going to take home a nice check of $102,000. Not bad for a week's work. Yeah, a million three total prize money at this major Japanese event early in the year. And now they will introduce the winner. This may not be the last win for Maria in Tokyo at 17 years old. She's off to a good start. To the winner, Miss Sharapova, the victory trophy and the first prize money of 189,000 US dollars. Wow, US dollars, 189,000, not bad. Not bad for a 17 year old either. <laughs> that smile of Sharapova's goes around the world very easily. Sure does. As you mentioned, Beth, certainly uh, she's got a big future, not just on the tennis court, which she is her big priority, but the endorsements just keep rolling in. Absolutely. I'm so, uh, I'm so happy to be back in Japan, and I'm thrilled than ever to be the champion here for the first time at this event. Um, I would like to congratulate Lindsay on an amazing week, as well as in Australia. Um, you know, you're a great champion on and off the court, so it's great to, to have you here. Um, you know, this tournament wouldn't be possible with, with the main sponsor, Torre, um, for having this great event for the last, I don't know, many, many years, as well as Mr. Noji for, for inviting me here. You are, without you, no, no, no one would come here, and um, thank you so much for your amazing support. Um, also, my great team that has been supporting me for, for my whole career. And most importantly, all of you amazing fans that come out here every single day and support all the players. Um, thank you so much. Without you, um, tennis wouldn't be a, as great of a sport as it is. So thank you, and I hope to be back very, very soon. 
some very nice words from Maria Sharapova. She handles the English language awfully well. She sure does. She's getting very well practiced at these speeches, too. <laughs> They played about the same size as the uh, other trophy she held up at the All England Club from Wimbledon a year or so ago. That's right. Well, Beth, it's early in the year, but certainly this a big, big win for Maria Sharapova in the rankings. That's right. She's going to move up to number three in the rankings now. That will be her career high. She hit her career high of number four just as recently as last November. So a big step for her. And as we look ahead, certainly the players head over to Paris and the women's tour continues on uh, off to a terrific start, especially with, with players of this caliber, because I think people that watch these two great athletes play uh, say, hey, listen, the women can play this game awfully, awfully well. well There's so many great women that are playing right now, a lot of fantastic stars. And now we'll hear from Lindsay. Thank you. I'd like to start off by thanking um, the people that make this tournament possible and number one, Torre, for being such a wonderful um, supporter of women's tennis for many years, Mr. Sakakibara, Mr. Noji, who have been uh, incredibly uh, generous to me throughout the years, everybody standing up here, thank you for making this tournament happen. Um, congratulations to Maria, who um, is a great player and I'm sure you Fans will be seeing her here in the finals for many years to come. To um, all of the fans that come out, it's, it's really fun to play in front of you guys and your support throughout the years has really meant a lot to me. So thank you for uh, supporting this tournament and women's tennis. To uh, my coach Adam of two years, who's been so great to me, thank you so much. Michelle and everybody else, um, thank you. Um, hopefully I'll see you soon. Lindsay Davenport is always one of the most gracious players. She's so well-liked, and she always has the right thing to say at the end of the tournament. I guess a lot of it has to do with her experience of having been in that position sure. a lot, but just a really wonderful person. Beth, you played a lot of tennis in, in Japan in your great career. Uh, one of the best spots in the world, maybe, to play? Absolutely. It was one of my favorite places. The, the whole atmosphere, they just do everything for the players. They really make every effort to make you feel at home because you are so far away from home over there for most of us. And so Maria Sharapova, the winner from Tokyo, a tremendous effort against one of the best players in the women's game, Lindsay Davenport. Maria Sharapova moves ahead. As Lindsay said, they'll be hearing a lot more from her here in Tokyo over the years. And there's the final score, 6-1. 6-3 in the second set for Davenport, but Sharapova coming back in a brilliant tiebreak, and it went down to the wire, didn't it, Beth? Absolutely. 7-5 in the breaker in the third set. It couldn't get much closer than that. A terrific match from the Torre Pan Pacific Open from Tokyo as Maria Sharapova pulls it off, wins it in a tiebreak. And so, from the entire crew at the Tennis Channel, my colleague Beth Hur, I'm Barry McKay saying so long, everybody.